Hey guys, you're watching Concept and in this tutorial we're gonna create this edge panning or edge scrolling seen in many RTS games. Uh, it will be done much simpler than tutorials I've seen on internet. They usually tend to use enums or many if statements. This one will only take four if statements and some of our own functions. So let's get started. So let's create new project, top down project and we will call it uh, edge Panning. Okay, I'm using Unreal uh, 4.14. I'm using it because that is the last uh, version when you don't have to include all those stuff that you use. And uh, I'm using it for convenience. So let's create this project. Okay, project is created, so we will go to our project settings. And we want to lock this mouse to the screen, so we will go to search and find lock so viewport lock on capture will set it to lock always so when we play it will always be locked now uh, what we wanna remove I will remove this one and I will go to all my C++ classes and create new C++ class which will be pawn which will actually be our camera so I will call it camera pawn Okay, in my camera pawn dot h, I will go here and uh, create u property, and it will be u scene component. So we will create for camera. We will create uh, scene spring arm and we'll create camera components so this one I will just copy and I will also copy paste it here okay so we said spring arm and it will be called spring arm and also camera component so camera components okay so we defined all components we will have now we have to create them okay let's create our components so we'll say in RCPP uh, root scene is equal to create default sub object you scene component and we will say text we will call it uh, root scene okay so everything's great so our root component will be equal to root scene so our main root component will be this root scene so we'll create also for our spring arm so in this case spring arm okay and we will need you spring arm component and we will call it just spring arm and we will say spring arm setup attachment so we will attach this spring arm to our root scene okay and now we need camera component so camera component you camera component component and we'll call it just camera okay and we will attach this to be child of spring arm so attach camera component to our spring arm this is basic stuff for creating so we will say build solution and we will see what we get and if we go back to our game we will go create blueprint class from this and you will see we have that uh, scene component root scene which is actually a root component and attach spring arm and camera to spring arm so everything's working fine now let's customize that uh, spring arm okay so in our spring arm we will say spring arm uh, do collision be do collision test false we need this to set to false. If we don't set it to false, our camera will collide of, with any of these objects and it will cause problems. So we will also say spring arm uh, set relative rotation f 
rotator so we will rotate it by minus 50 0 0 so it's kind of RTS camera let's build it now if we go back to our game we will delete this and we will create again because it can cause problems if we don't do this and you can see that if we import our camera you will see it's rotated so it looks more RTS -y. okay we will set it here and we will say player 0 air controller it can stay I will just say it to player controller although it can stay like this okay so you can see our camera is like RTS let's create those functions okay first thing we need to do is to get our player controller so we will go to our .h file and we will create your property a player controller so we will create that point pointer to and we it will be called PC player controller okay and we now have to get that so on begin play we will say PC is equal to cast a player controller get play get controller okay so what does this do this function get controller gives us a controller but we need a player controller if that controller is a player controller it will assign it to our pointer to a player controller we need this so we can get uh, position of our mouse on our screen so it's casting it's asking if this controller which I get is actually a player controller because this gets only controller now we have all set up for our first function our first function is actually be u function and it will be called it will give us f vector so it will give us a vector uh, where our camera should go so we will say get camera pan direction and that will be actually all okay so we will copy this actually all of this and we will put it somewhere here and also we have to add this okay okay so we will first create float mouse position or actually pause x and float mouse pause y uh, this will be float which will always be created because this will actually happen every tick so it will always create this temporary we will need them because our player controller gets mouse position if we look at this function get mouse position you will see that it needs to be fed by location X and location Y and if you see this reference sign that means that whatever we fed it with it will be changed so this mouse position is uh, not assigned to any number but if it is a fed to this uh, function with reference that means that it will be changed it will give us uh, for that mouse position x, x it will give us x location for uh, our mouse okay so okay before we go uh, further into our function I just want to explain some things so we have this screen and if we put mouse here uh, it's X0 and Y0 and if we put it here uh, it's X is X screen size and Y is Y screen size and uh, these coordinates are not the same as coordinates three coordinates in the game so if we are on X which is 0 it needs to go camera needs to go left and if you see this Y value it will go it will change that Y value in negative so we need if we're on this left side with our mouse we need this to move in negative Y and if are on Y screen size uh, if we're on 0 on Y and screen that means that it will go positive in X if you see you can see that this positive changes okay if we know that we can continue with our uh, function let's create our first if statement so if mouse position x is equal to 0 then we will say can direction y because we said that they are not the same coordinates so it will go if we are on this side 
it will go left that means it will go negative so minus one okay so that's all cleared and we also have to define those can directions so x and we will say it's, it's zero because if conditions are not met it will just return zero so it will the camera will stay on the same place so float can direction y zero okay and we also need to return this is f vector so we need to return that in this case it will be can direction x and can direction y and also for z is zero because we don't want to change z okay so in this case we will also make more of these if statements this is only for the left side of our screen and we will also say on tick function we will say add actor uh, local not local but world offset and it needs a vector so in this case this returns the vector we will just use this function get camera it will give it okay so if we compile we will see what we've done and when we're back in the game we can hit play and if we go to our left of our screen you can see that it's moving but it needs to move faster we will set some variables like speed and also uh, we will set it to be like some kind of margin so we can put here mouse not all all the way to the end but something like this and it will go left same goes for forward backward and so on we will continue with our function okay I will create that margin so in our dot h let's say let's say float margin it will be something like 15 pixel it can go it doesn't have to be 0 so you can go from 0 to 15 and it will move so in this case this will change margin okay and we will say less or equal than that margin okay now we define it for x we will also define it for y so mouse position y if it okay same thing but uh, it goes into we said forward it's positive x okay but these two can work just fine for that left and right side but we also need uh, for that left and front but we also need for a right and a bottom and for that in that case we need uh, our viewport size for that we will need to define some more floats actually this will be integer so int 32 screen size x and int 32 screen size y okay so screen size x also will define your property and here also your property and on begin play we will get that screen size so player controller get get viewport size and if we see we need integer 32 size x size y and we defined screen size x screen size y it will change that those two because it has reference sign okay so we get that screen size and for other we will create also if statements so we need for that right and bottom side so in that case uh, okay I will start actually with X in that case we need it to be not less than equal but e uh, greater or equal okay then margin so we need screen size size X minus margin we can only we can set the only screen size but in that case uh, it will uh, on, we have to go all the way to the to the that end but we also want to include that margin 
so in this case that means that cam direction will go to positive because this is negative and we also will do the same for y screen size y and this means that cam direction x will this went positive this will be negative okay so this is pretty much it and we also need speed so in our .h file we will say u property it will be float cam speed okay and we will say cam speed is equal to let's say 3 so we go back to our cpp and on either actor world offset we will say multiply by cam speed because this gives us a vector with ones and zeros and this will multiply so it will go faster let's build this and try it out and if we go back to our game you can see if we hit play everything's working fine so it goes just fine but maybe we could fix something like margin if you can see it goes left even when we are this far maybe something like sand will just work fine and also speed about 5 would be much greater but that's pretty much it and I will uh, add one more thing to this one thing I will add is maybe to change this add actor offset because if we get camera pan direction and this conditions are not met it will be zero 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 so it will be three zeros and it will uh, execute this function maybe you could create something like this function function which I made uh, pan move camera so it's fed with pan, pan direction and uh, which will actually be this function and uh, if that pan direction uh, vector is zero 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 it will just uh, return it it will not execute add world offset so you can make something like this and after that you can just put instead of this to be executed this function because if you get three zeros here just return if uh, they are different then add world of offset that's about it from this tutorial hope you like it please leave like or subscribe and we'll see you next time